started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a clinical examination station, can you begin? Yes, begin right now. Yes. Um, uh, I am Dr. Khawar Rahman, one of the surgical candidates. May I ask your name and age, please? I'm Smith, and, uh, 67 years old. Uh, I will. I wash my hand. Uh, uh, today I want to examine your pulse, your chest, and your heart. Is it okay? Yes. Uh, do you have any pain? Any problem? Yeah, but not much. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, first of all, I will check the patient from the foot end and check. Uh, yes. Please tell me first, how would the position of the patient be and what would be the exposure? A uh, patient is in a supine position and, uh, yes. uh, uh, and the patient is exposed till, uh, uh, till the tummy, abdomen, abdomen okay. umbilical level. Okay. Uh, yes. Umbilical level. No, then I will, uh, then I will check the patient, patient chest and uh, there is any scar. Then I will check the hand of the patient, then any tremor, any, uh, uh, any genuine, any genuine lesion, ocular nodes, splinter hemorrhage. And uh, then uh, I will check the uh, eye of the patient, uh, any anemia, and uh, then I will check the clubbing uh, of the patient. And uh, after that, uh, I, in eyes, I will also check the xanthelema, and I will palpate the pulse, uh, radial pulse, and then both radial pulse will simultaneously will be checked. Then I will check the brachial pulse, and I will check the water hammer pulse. And uh, then if, if before it, I will ask the patient, do we have shoulder pain of, on the affected side? And then I will auscultate the uh, carotid uh, pulse that there is any is a murmur. And if there, it is normal then, and ask the patient to hold the breath while I will auscultate the carotid pulse. Then if it is okay, then I will palpate the carotid pulse. Now I, I ask the patient that uh, I will examine your chest uh, and uh, uh, chest, and then I will check any scar, any um, uh, any um, pacemaker insertion scar, any intracardiac device, or any thoracotomy device, thoracotomy scar, and then I will uh, check the both axilla also, and then uh, um, I will palpate the apex beat fifth and the fifth intercostal space, then I will palpate the, all the walls in their area, that is fourth, second, and uh, second left and right areas. Check uh, he, um, heave, heave, and the uh, left external border. And I will also check the thrills on all the, uh, uh, wolf areas. Then I will auscultate. it. I will auscultate it uh, the chest, breath sounds, and also I will auscultate it the uh, apex at uh, the fifth intercostal space and all the wolf area in the particular areas. Then I will also auscultate the carotid uh, artery again to check any uh, uh, murmur. Then uh, I will do the all these things by the uh, bell of the stethoscope. And I will also ask the patient to uh, from in mitral area, I will auscultate it and ask the patient to turn on the left side and check is there any uh, degradation of the murmur. Then uh, 
after this auscultation and uh, uh, i will uh, ask the patient to sit down and i will uh, check uh, uh, auscultate the uh, base uh, of the lungs and then i will check the sacral edema and uh, in the last i will uh, check the pedal edema both sides and i will uh, miss one thing that is i will measure the gvp and uh, for gvp measurement i will uh, also examine the abdominal press that gvp is raised or not and now i will uh, finish my examination thanks the patient and wash my hand again okay you still had one minute left yes yes madam. so in order to complete your examination what would you do uh, i will uh, i will do the uh, peripheral vascular examination i will do the uh, full blood count c-reactive protein and you will do the respiratory examination and vascular examination of both upper limb and lower limb. Okay. okay. Yes. Can you please summarize your examination now? Uh, in this, uh, I examine this patient. There is a scar in the uh, left uh, infraclavicular region, and uh, on inspection, and uh, um, there is a um, pulses are uh, normal, and uh, there is no. Uh, murmur and uh, and no murmur and no heave and uh, and uh, uh, no pedal edema it is uh, and the mild cardiac heart failure is not detected uh, in respect to pedal edema is at that time it is normal because it is mild so otherwise only the pacemaker uh, is there and on the auscultation there may be uh, crackles on the lung base so okay. it is the so uh, on the basis of your examination yes what do you think the patient is suffering from uh, i think patient has uh, some uh, sinoatrial disease or av nodal disease or dilated cardiomyopathy and uh, therefore or sinus bradycardia the main reason that uh, uh, patient is plays a, a pacemaker and okay. due to this, Since, he, she has yes. mild heart failure. Can he you please heart. help me and read this uh, ECG, ECG or this uh, investigation? Uh, this is uh, this ECG showing uh, no PVF and uh, okay. Yes, and, okay, and there is and then what is this? And, these two arrows. This uh, that is the um, uh, R wave is uh, long than usual. Okay, is, which signifies what? That, that, uh, it, what is the name of the rhythm that you can see? Hypertrophy, hypertrophy. No, come on. Patient has pacemaker. Uh, so what kind of rhythm is this? Pacemaker rhythm. Uh, uh, that is the uh, rhythm is sinus bradycardia. Sinus yeah, bradycardia. okay. Can you please Tell me a uh, few indications when pacemaker is indicated. Uh, uh, bradycardia, dilated cardiomyopathy, SA nodal disease, AV nodal disease. All right, good. Since this patient is going to be uh, listed for elective surgery, so tell me uh, why or who should you inform about the pacemaker of this patient? Uh, anesthetist. Why? Yes, anesthetist. And why? And because he, he will give uh, anesthesia and uh, he will manage the patient uh, in GA and fitness of the patient. Please be specific. And, and cardio specialist. Cardio special. Patients cardio. with a pacemaker, what are the precautions that uh, an aesthetic has have to I think uh, de desynchronize the pacemaker because there is a diathermia and other thing that he desynchronized. Yes. Uh, otherwise, which diathermy. Kind of, which kind of diathermy can they not uh, use? Or the uh, monopolar, monopolar diathermy will not be used. Used, so that's why, okay, it's very important. Right. Otherwise, what happens? Otherwise, uh, uh, there will be cardiac fibrillation and fluter may occur due to yes. current passing through the heart. Yes, very good. All right, okay. Yes, uh, in the beginning, I'm not sure. Did you mention examining the hands and uh, journal, like giving journal examination from the over of the bed? 
from the just i i ask the hand for tremors and clubbing genital lesions and ocular nodes i ask uh, i check on yes, inspection yes and in this one you have to also look for the bedside medications like any oxygen cylinder any yes. chart Yes, uh, it is very important. And also for the tar staining, clubbing, you have to take the radial pulse and you have to take the radio radial delay as well. Capillary refilling time, you have to notice collapsing pulse and signs of any infective uh, endocarditis if there are there any splinter hemorrhages or etc. So neck examination you have to do for the neck veins. If they are yes. engulfed or not, carotid pulsation, trachea, and then mouth as well, you have to do the central sinusitis, dehydration, oral hygiene, and eye for pallor as well. Other than that, yes, you have completed almost everything. Uh, do you, would you or would you not take the blood pressure in this examination? Uh, for After uh, doing the examination, I will take. Uh, yes. Ask uh, tell tell the patient that I will complete the exemption by doing the blood pressure. Blood pressure, yes. When at the uh, for the summary, when I asked you uh, what else would you do to complete your examination, you forgot blood to tell pressure. me that. Yes. Blood All pressure. right. Good. Uh, madam, I want to ask uh, that in exam uh, in the, in this uh, in this presentation, I speak that I will check the splinter hemorrhage. I no, will check, you will uh, be doing it. Yes, do, uh, but in the are, exam. Yes, even in if even exam, if you're doing self talking that or you're talking to the patient that okay, uh, can you sit down now? I'll be looking at your this and this. So if you're doing it in a natural way, that's all right. Self talking, or your because examiner will not be listening. He will pretend that they are not listening. Otherwise, they'll be. Listening. But uh, how the examiner know that I will check the splinter hemorrhage? They I will know. check the clubbing. I will just see the patient. Uh, so I will speak the examiner that I am checking the no, splinter hemorrhage. I am clubbing. Then you will the try clubbing. to talk to the patient so that patient knows what you are doing. If you are doing uh, I, it in a natural way that you are examining, you've taken the hand of the patient and you say, okay, now I'm going to look for the certain things. Okay, there's there are no clubbing. There are no this. You just say no, 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 and you mentioned the things that you're looking. There are speak. No I will speak that uh, there is no clubbing. I will speak there is no just clubbing, say. no splinter yeah. hemorrhage. Yeah, will... when you're examining the hand of the patient. So patient would also be knowing because this that would not be the first case of the patient. Patient is professional. Okay, have madam. attended many before you. Uh, that so is all the symptom and sign I have to speak uh, that yeah. I am checking your carotid pulse. I am this, that's to speak. Inspection. I will speak the medical even term for, also. Even for the examination, what you are examining, even if you say it, okay, now I've ruled this out, I've ruled this out, so there was no this, not, not that. So even if you are saying it like this, it would it should sound natural. Otherwise, like, yeah, yes. you can do it. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Thank you.